As Chhattisgarh gears up to host the plenary meeting of the Congress party, very interesting development has come for. The Gandhis are likely to skip the AICC plenary session in Chhattisgarh. This is very important, remember, because this could be about sending a message that Malikarjun Kharge has been given a free hand to be as the president run the organization freely. Now, according to our sources, this is for the first time in 25 years that Gandhi's possibly, despite being in active politics, politics of course still, would not be present in the AICC steering committee meeting. What does this mean? See, the three-day long AICC plenary session will start today from Raipur and uh, the meeting begins at about 10 a.m. in just a short while. But the big high point will be if Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, who have of course been former Congress presidents too, will not be a part of this meeting. Even Priyanka Gandhi Vajra is expected to skip it. According to sources, this is going to be about a free hand that's being given to Malikarjan Kari. But how will it reflect? Shouldn't they be as senior leaders, be present there for the plenary session? That's my question that I'll be putting to my colleague, uh, Sumi Rajan, who's joining me now from, uh, from Chhattisgarh, Raipur, because uh, you've been covering this since it was decided that it's going to be Chhattisgarh that will be hosting this big plenary meeting. But no Gandhis. That just looks odd. What do you think is the strategy behind this? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it is the biggest scoop uh, that we are catching for our audience that the Gandhis will give the entire stirring meeting and also uh, the plenary session, the 18th plenary session a miss. In fact, what we're getting to know from our highly placed sources is that, that they will not be present in the stirring committee meeting, which is uh, going to begin in a short while. In fact, it will begin at 10 a.m. just in a few minutes. The constitution of the stirring committee meeting, which will replace the traditional uh, CWC, the traditional CWC that had been working for so many years in the Congress, they will skip the steering committee meeting as well. And it is the biggest signal from the Gandhis that now Malikarjun Kharge, who is the newly appointed president of the Congress, will be given a free hand. And in fact, his decisions will be primary and will take the center stage for the entire plenary session. And this plenary session is going to be extremely important important since it is held in an election year. Chhattisgarh is going to go in the election this year, in the second half of this year. In fact, apart from Chhattisgarh, uh, crucial states such as Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka will be running into elections. And in fact, in the plenary session, that's what uh, the roadmap of the entire Congress is working, the approach towards the elections. And also, apart from that, certain uh, important agendas will be taken up. In fact, uh, Gandhis will be skipping the meet and that's the biggest scoop that it is a clear indication Sumi, from Sumi the Sumi Rajapan from Chhattisgarh has got us this big, big scoop coming in. Gandhis and all three of them are likely to skip the plenary session in Chhattisgarh. Their message is Malikarjun Kharge as the chief has the free hand, but should they have been present at all? That remains the big issue and we'll try and get more reactions on that. Sumi, thank you very much. Well done.